guys, in this video we're going to be doing a little bit of everything to help you get motivated to tackle things around your home. I'll be doing some cleaning, giving you a sneak peek of my DIY for my next project, a grocery haul, and a delicious meal idea at the end of the video. I hope that you'll stick around and do things along with me. If you're new here, my name is Aang and I'd love for you to join the family. Please say hello and let me know what all is on your list today. Now let's do it all! I like to start off in the kitchen because this is the heart of the home and it makes me feel a whole lot better once everything is in its place and clean. Since summer is officially here and the weather is getting a lot warmer here in the south, my cooking game has gone down quite a bit. There's something about the warmer weather that makes me lazier and seems to heat up the house more when I turn on the stove or oven. So we've been eating so bad this week. As you can see the pizza box on the counter there, we also had Popeyes and other random fast food as well. I just went to the grocery store and ready to get back into healthier home cooked meals. You'll see an Aldi grocery haul and a yummy Greek chicken meal at the end of this video. If you guys watch my cleaning videos regularly, you know that I clean a little bit each day instead of doing it all in one day. For instance, I'll clean the bathrooms in one day, but do the showers and tub on another. I want to make sure I do a thorough job without overwhelming myself. Ideally, I would like to get a glass top for this dining table to protect it, but I think it would cost a ridiculous amount. I just want to eliminate the use of placemats and just be able to wipe down the table after each meal. If you guys have another idea, please do let me know.
These dryer sheets hide everywhere and drive us crazy. Here I am in 100 degrees of humidity adding the finishing gloss to this board. This will be part of my next project. Can you guess what it will be? Hey guys, so we just pulled into Aldi which is my favorite grocery store and I'm super excited because I only stopped at two lights on the way here. And that's very uncommon because usually four to five times I get stopped at every light, but this time only two lights. So I got here a lightning quick and the coffee's kicking in and I'm feeling good. And we are at my favorite grocery store, as you can see in the back. I've got my quarters because they are no longer providing the free carts. Um, so for those of you that don't know about all the, you have to put a quarter in to get a cart and then in order to keep their prices low and stuff, when you return your cart, you get your quarter back. So let's go inside. So we are back home now from Aldi and the cart guy there was so sweet. When I returned the cart, he was like, if everybody knew you or if everybody was like you, I'm not exactly sure what he said, then this world would be perfect. And that was so sweet. And I told him, don't work too hard because I expect to see you again next week. So we are home now. I'm gonna bring everything upstairs and then I'll give you guys a quick haul. Okay, so starting off with the meat, I usually get salmon every other week. I cut this in half and it's the perfect portion for two servings. I'll be making this with a mango salsa. Below is some chicken thighs for a Greek chicken dish that I'll be showing you how to make at the end of the video. Turkey for sandwiches, tzatziki sauce for the Greek chicken, a Red Bull for Nate, some canned corn, and black and white beans for chicken chili. Back there I have chicken broth, and then you also see some naan bread behind that, a block of cream cheese, coffee K-cups. These are incredibly priced at $3.99 for a 12-pack, some heavy cream, whole wheat bread in the way back, flour for baking, cheddar cheese, baby spinach for a tofu scramble and smoothies, jalapenos, limes, cilantro, and avocados are our killer deal this week at 54 cents each. We've got some Roma tomatoes. And then in the back we got some local peaches from South Carolina, and then two English cucumbers for salad and water. I almost forgot, right behind me there are some storage bags and this take and bake pizza which is also really good and only $5.99. You can see how big it is in relation to my hand. We'll freeze this in our garage freezer to have another day. I spend about $62 which is average for each week at Aldi. Now it's time to put all the groceries away. I'll leave out anything I need to make dinner and lunch. I also take out of the fridge anything that needs to be thrown out.
I'm just storing this pizza in the fridge for now. Like I said, we have a freezer down in the garage where I'll be taking it the next time I go down there. And look how perfectly it fits. Now who doesn't get hungry after grocery shopping? Today's lunch is going to be super simple. It's going to be a sandwich for everyone. When I don't know what to make, I usually try to use up things I have that are perishable. I'm just showing you some moldy cheese. Good thing I have another pack on hand. After lunch, I'm going to start prepping for tonight's dinner. Right now, I'm chopping up some red onion, cucumber, and tomatoes for a salad and dressing it up with some Italian dressing. Now I'm making the marinade for the chicken thighs. It's minced garlic, lemon juice, and lemon rind. Then later I'll be adding some additional herbs and seasonings. I'll have the recipe in the description box if you'd like to give this a go. After a few hours of marinating, I'll be cooking the chicken in the air fryer. I believe I used the default chicken setting which is 365 degrees for 20 minutes and flipped it halfway through cooking. Of course you can always bake, pan fry, or even grill it if you like. I've got a little helper who loves helping me cook. We're making the butter basmati rice. This rice is so delicious and flavorful. Here's a look at what the cooked chicken looks like. It turned out so moist and juicy without any added oil. We'll also check on the rice and give it a little fluff. Also warming up some naan bread. I only toast it for literally a minute just to warm it up because I like the bread to be soft and chewy. This recipe is definitely worth a try and makes great leftovers. Thanks so much for joining me today. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video where I include everything I do around the house and not just solely cleaning. Please help me out by giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in a few days in the next one.